All right, guys, this video is going to be real quick. We're just going to go over these basic properties of logarithms. Um, you should have seen this before. Um, we even kind of went over the first two properties in the, la the end of the last video. Um, I would just, just pause the video right now and just take these down. Just write these down right now. All right, so hopefully you have these down. And then what I'm just going to do is just kind of explain why these properties work out. Um, like I said, the first two we kind of seen before. Remember, when this argument's 1, it's always going to equal 0. And it kind of makes sense because to kind of prove it, I can take a logarithm and I can rewrite it as an exponential function. And then it makes a lot more sense. So the key here is this base is a. And if I do a little circle, the circle method here, if I put this back in exponential form, this is like saying a to the 0. Well, that should equal the argument. And we've proven before that... Anything raised to the zero equals one, and that is the argument right there. So main thing to remember there, if you take the log of one, it always equals zero. Doesn't matter what the base equals. Okay, the second one, what if the base and the argument are the same? This is always going to equal one. And if I put it back in exp exponential form, it's going to make sense. This is the base, so I say a to the first power. Well, anything raised to the first power is just itself. So that's y, it equals a. So that I could have, you know, log base 6 of 6, that equals 1. Log base 50 of 50, that equals 1. Okay, number 3, this is if you have um, the same base but it's also raised to the x. Kind of builds off of the property for number 2. This is going to equal the exponent. And if I put this back in exponential form, which is what I'm going to do right here, I take this base, and if I raise it to the x, so I have a to the x equals, and that equals the argument, which is a to the x. All right, and if I just gave you an example for that, and I gave you examples on the previous video for 1 and 2. If I gave you, okay, log base 3 of, let's say, oops, that's a bad 3. Let's say log base 3 of 3 to the 7th. Okay, it shouldn't be any thinking. You don't have to figure out what 3 to the 7th is. As long as these are the same, it's going to equal the exponent of 7. All right, so these are three basic properties that once you see these three and you have to evaluate them, you should get the answer right away without even thinking, without using your calculator. Um, the last one, I'm not really going to go over, um, but still make sure you have this down. We're going to use this um, basic property of logarithms uh, the next day when we solve logarithmic equations. This is if you just have logs on both sides. If they have the same base, well, then the arguments, you have to set those equal to each other. All right, so those are the basic properties. Um, we're going to see these throughout uh, probably the next couple weeks.